<sighs> Hello everyone. How are you doing? Let's see if I can tag somebody. I think I just did. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So something that has happened is so golden doodle breeds golden retrievers specifically labs they have sensitive stomachs um sensitive skin and they get itchy um and a lot of people turn to grain-free foods um and now you have this dcm scare and you don't know what to do so like i said in my other videos all grain or all dog food is not perfect um you it's kind of like a give and take to fit towards your dog or your breed um so i did some research for a family of mine that they have two dogs ones that would suffer from skin rashes and another that would get really itchy um and you know those are very typical with gluten allergies wheat allergies um grain allergies chicken allergies so the first thing she did was go to grain free food a high quality grain free food but in the first five um ingredients first 10 uh, there was probably three or four lentils peas sweet potatoes chickpeas um legumes things like that in your first ingredients is kind of scary because that right now in its speculation that those are the ingredients that are causing a taurine deficiency which is all in turn causing dcm in large breed dogs especially dogs that are already predisposed to this disease golden retrievers being definitely on the top of that list um so I did some research and I found the better of two evils, basically. Um, so I found one food that is specifically tailored to um, sensitive skin and stomachs. It is not necessarily grain free. It is wheat free, corn free, dye and artificial dyes free, which all those things are usually your top contenders for aggravating skin allergies. Um, so. I wanted to kind of share with what I found. Um, it's no corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial colors or flavoring, no poultry by, by products. Um, so the first ingredients is salmon, barley, ground rice, uh, canola meal, oatmeal, fish meal, animal fat, and let's see, brewer's dry yeast not a fan but if you're gonna take your greater of two evils i'm gonna take it um and then you go down the whole list and there is no legumes there's no chickpeas or the five ingredients for dcm basically your five main problems so what i found is this and you know my last video i went through through two different Purina Pro Plans ingredients, a uh, large breed puppy, and I think I went through Sport, and I would not feed my dog that. But just because it's the brand does not mean the in all of their ingredients are bad in every type of food that they make. Um, because I just found Purina Pro Plan sensitive skin and stomach for adults right here. It's a pink label bag. You can get it at Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, and Target, Amazon, and Chewy.com, okay? This is not grain-free, but because it is, uh, it has salmon, which is great for skin, fish, and all those fatty acids, great for skin, but it's no corn, no wheat, no soy, no artificial colors, no fla or artificial flavors, and no poultry byproduct which is all those things that I was saying that could cause skin problems. So if you're in a grain-free diet and you're scared, I would first try, gradually try, the Purina Pro Plan Focus uh, Sensitive Skin and Stomach. 
again, I'm going to show it again, it is backwards, but that is what it looks like. It is, it does have grains, it has rice, okay guys, but it is gluten free because rice does not have gluten. Um, so that is also something that is a positive. I will try that because it has absolutely no bad things that is in that DCM scare. And the top ingredients aren't bad either. I'm not seeing any digest or yucky, disgusting ingredients in here. Um, again, it does have brewer's yeast, but again, greater of two evils. What are you going to pick? I'm going to pick you know, the brewer's yeast, sorry, over, you know, animal roadkill and, uh, and all those bad ingredients that they're thinking is causing DCM, which is basically cardiovascular health of the heart. It enlarges and kills your dog. Some of them just drop dead and they can be as early as six months old and it's because of their diet. So that's something that I would definitely look into. But then I found another one that is grain free, that only has one of those ingredients in the top five. And I feel like, again, the greater of two evils, if they absolutely have to have um, grain free diet, let's say that Purina Pro Plan does not work and they're still itchy, they're still having stomach issues, sensitive sensitivities, then I'm going to go with um, this one here. And it's by Instincts Raw Boost Kibble and Raw. Okay. Um, it is skin and coat grain free recipe with real chicken and it's adult. Um, again, greater of two evils. I'm going to push aside the, if you have a, a one year old puppy and I said, you know, try to feed large breed puppy for your, um, puppies, then, ooh, sorry, Lucy just bumped me. Um, then I'm going to pick the adult and I'm going to just go with that because the ingredients are what's good for them. Um, I would feed them, a, maybe put a raw topping on top just for extra calories and protein since they are babies still and you wanna get those extra calories in for their growth, then definitely do that. Um, I think that is a, a huge positive having raw toppings on, or freeze dried toppings on top. Um, so the ingredients for this, this is what I wanted to show you. Now, this Instincts, it is a little bit more expensive per poundage than the Purina Pro Plan. It is a smaller company. Um, your first ingredients are chicken and fish meal, chicken meal, peas, right? That's a bad DCM ingredient that we know of right now. Tapioca, chicken fat, ground flaxseed, egg products, and freeze-dried chicken right there okay so there's only one bad ingredient in the top 10 um and i'm going to say that's a win and then the rest of them yeah i don't see any yeast pumpkin seeds nothing bad no road kill kill no digest no um byproduct meal in the in the food that you're seeing here um, so, and I really like that it is, has all naturally preserved products to preserve it, which is rosemary and clay. Those are things that naturally preserve food for a long, so for its shelf life. Um, so I really like that. Now, again, it is grain free and there's only one bad ingredient in the top five opposed to four or two or three. So when you get higher up on the list here, that means your food is composed mostly of what's on the top list. So your top 10 are very important. And if your top 10, four, three to four of the ingredients are bad, that means three or four ingredients separately compose that food. So if you have peas as your second ingredient on here, or you have peas and legumes and lentils and chickpeas all in the top 10, that means more than 50% of your food is pretty much comprised of the, all the bad ingredients. So this is the second, if the Purina Pro Plan sensitive skin and stomach does not work because your dog is truly grain free and not just gluten free or need some extra salmon in their life, omega threes, um, then I would go straight to this one which is here. I will show it one more time and then I will end this video.
here. Now here you need to buy at Chewy, Amazon, or you can buy at your specialty stores, your groomer stores here in town. Um, again, it is a little bit more expensive, but it does actually have raw food inside, so you would not need to buy your toppers for this one. Um, even though it does say adult, you wouldn't need to because it does have all those extra little protein boosts in raw food. Let's see, this one, 18 pound bag is $69. And I'm pretty sure the Purina Pro plan was a lot better than that. It was like 30 pounds for $69. So, I mean, if you do have to feed it, this is the best um, price point that I found because I wanted to stay very fair in its um, price per pound that you get for your food and for your money. Um, but still healthy and that was the only one the only grain-free food that I found that didn't have two three four ingredients in the top ones that all are being finger pointed for DCM so I hope this video helped share to any of your friends or family that have their fur family that they're looking out for for grain-free issues stomach issues DCM issues that they're afraid of all these new foods and I sure hope I helped you guys out. If you have any questions, even if you have, take a picture of your food that you're feeding your dog and the back of the uh, bag, which says the ingredients, post them on this video and I will go over them specifically for you and I will see if I can find something better or if your food is great for your needs, for your dog's needs. So please let me know um, in the comments if you have any questions or any dog foods you want me to look over and see if they are good. Also put if they have skin issues, stomach issues, um, if they're puppies or if they're seniors because that really helps me figure out if that food's tailored to your dog and if it is the best thing on the market for what we have right now. Um, with all these different recalls and scares and things, I do all know all the ingredients and I can easily make an educated decision over all of it. So if you need help, drop a comment your picture of your dog food and i am more than happy to help you guys bye